Alright class, in this experiment, we're going to be mixing substances. You must add the pH indicator to the substances provided, and take notes on how each substance reacts to the indicator. And DON'T try drinking from the test tubes! Yeah, sporty sport! So, so dry guys, how's, how's it going with Talia so far? far? Pretty good! It's nice to meet a girl who doesn't try taking advantage of my wealth for a change. Probably because you're not all that wealthy at all. Do you live in a million dollar mansion with your own private cruise ship in your backyard? As I'm not a liar, I'd have to say no. Exactly! That's why I was the first to get a girlfriend! I thought you already had a girlfriend from that trip to Paris. Yeah, whatever happened to her? Meh, she was more of a one-time thing. Doesn't really count. I tend to not count girlfriends that don't exist too. You can have an opinion when you actually get girls to like you! I'm still shocked she actually liked you back. Women have standards, Carl. You guys should pay more attention to my advice. You could learn a thing or two from guys like me. Please. Like what? Number one, always let her know you're the alpha male. We went on a date to this super expensive restaurant on Saturday. I, of course, paid for her meal, and this guy comes up to our table, angry that I parked my Ferrari in front of his crappy tow truck. Know what I did next? Let him know he was at the wrong table? I grabbed him by the shell collar and told him, if he ever talks to me like that in front of my girl again, he'll be leaving in an ambulance. Damn, that, that sounds, sounds awesome. awesome. Yeah, too bad none of it's true. Did you, Did you kick, kick his, his ass? ass? Nah, he calmed down after. I even lent him a thousand dollars to buy himself dinner. Just to be fair, Talia was really impressed. Of course she was. And this weekend, we're taking my dad's new luxury motorhome out to Soda Lake. Soda, Soda Lake? Lake. Where's, Where's that? that? It's this beautiful lake out in Freaky Forest. It's said to be one of the top five biggest lakes in the entire kingdom. Cool, cool. I, didn't I didn't know, know motorhomes, motorhomes could travel, travel through water. water. We're not gonna drive in the lake, moron. We're gonna take a swim, share some of my dad's $2,000 champagne, and then watch some movies on the HD plasma screen TV in the hot tub. There is no way your dad owns that kind of motorhome. Well, he does! He got it from the military after he saved the president's life from an assassination attempt! If you're so rich and successful, how come you're always eating at Goomburger and buying Monster Energy drinks with us? It's called saving money, dork. I'd be an idiot if I were to spend it all at once. Yeah, yeah you could be, be really, really stupid, stupid sometimes, sometimes Carl. Carl. Shut up, boo. Is it just me, or has Drybones become even more of an asshole since he started dating Talia? <laughs> I know, right? He was always kind of a jerk, but recently, it's like he thinks he's a god. He's, he's not, not been, been that bad. bad. Yesterday, he sent me a list of 10 ways you could get women to notice you. Yeah, I thought you wanted women to notice you. The first thing on the list was to put yourself first. Yeah, and are you? It also said to drive an expensive car and to wear a suit to work. You gotta admit he was a jerk to you in chemistry class this morning. Maybe a little, but he's just happy he's got a girlfriend. It's not like he's that bad. How's it going, single people? Hey guys, how's it going? Pretty good, how was chemistry? Oh, we've actually been doing biology in our class. Yeah, we were just studying plant cells and junk. Cool! That sounds fun! To be honest, it was kind of boring. Oh, <laughs> I know. I just meant, like, compared to what we're doing. Huh, <laughs> you think studying plant cells sounds fun? <laughs> what a nerd, right, babe? Yeah, yeah what, what a, a loser. loser. I didn't say that! <laughs> Not helping, Blooper. Ignore these guys, babe. They just wish they could be cool, like us. I don't mind biology. Oh, uh, yeah, me too. I thought, I thought you said, said it was, it was boring. boring. I was joking! Will you keep up, moron? So, uh, what's up with you guys? Anything interesting? 
Drybones and I were just talking about our trip this weekend. Oh, you were? Don't worry about that, it's not important. Aww, but I wanted to know about the trip. Yeah, I'd like to know. Well, this weekend Drybones is taking me on a trip to Soda Lake in his luxury motorhome. That sounds so romantic! Oh no. It's got a 200-inch skylight that we can look up at the stars together. Aw, stop! You're gonna make me jealous! I hate to disappoint you, Talia, but Drybones tends to exaggerate things. What do you mean? Ignore them. They're just jealous. Trust me, this thing's the real deal. My dad once used it to pick up the LA Lakers and drove them to the NBA. <laughs> Can too. There's room for the entire population of Vatican City in there. Yo, does that, that mean there'd be room, room for us? us? Wait, what? Yeah, that's not a bad idea, boo. <gasps> Could I come too? No way, you guys are not coming! Aw, why not? It does exist! I'm sure it will until some fake car crash conveniently happens just before Saturday. Fine, come on this trip! Then you'll see how wrong you really are! Excuse me? Awesome! awesome. Can't, Can't wait, wait to see, see it again. again. Yeah, same here. Could I invite Roxanne and Kylie as well? Sure, why not? The more, the merrier. Yay! Well, I'm glad it's not just gonna be the two of us this weekend. All I can say is, when you see this motorhome, you'll be wishing you were me. Now come on, babe, let's get out of here already. I could use another monster. All right then. Uh, later, guys. Well, guess I'll see you guys this weekend. Don't forget to bring your swim shorts. Wait, why would we need swim shorts? It's a lake, Carl! We're obviously gonna be going swimming! Oh yeah! <laughs> right, of course! You're not nervous, are you? No, of course not! Cool! See you there! Yeah, I can't wait to see Drybone's luxury motor home. <laughs> yeah, me too. Ah, God damn it! Now I gotta start over! Are you alright, sweetie? I'm fine, Linda. This game's just pissing me off. Turn it off and do something else then. Adults don't get mad at games. And that's three points to the Dragonites! Are you kidding me?! I hate my life! Well, well, well. Look who finally decided to come downstairs. You avoiding us now or something? I was literally doing homework. Yeah? Did you check back through the paper to make sure you didn't miss a question? Lay off him, Calvin. As long as you've tried your hardest, that's all that matters. Thanks, Mom. By the way, I gotta talk to you guys about something. You finally figure out how to use the bathroom all by yourself? Don't you have some mediocre hip-hop song to be working on? I'll have you know I'm meeting with a very successful rapper tomorrow. Please, what rapper is gonna want to work with you? His name's Brad, he's roommates with Kenny's friend. Didn't you have something to say, Carl? Yeah, sorry. I've been invited on a trip this weekend to Soda Lake in Drybone's motorhome. Drybones? Ain't that the skeleton who lies all the time? He's known to bend the truth, yeah. Soda Lake? Is that far? It's supposed to be near Freaky Forest. I see. And are you planning on sleeping over? No, Mom. I figured I'd just fly home when it gets dark. Keep talking to your mother like that, and the only sleepover you'll be having is in the backyard with the chomps. Are you sure you want to do this, Carl? You've never slept away from home by yourself before! Sure I have! I slept over at Boo's when I was ten! You got up in the middle of the night crying that you wanted to come home! I wasn't crying! I had to drive all the way over there just to pick you up! I thought I heard something coming from the basement! And you want to go to Freaky Forest? You know it's haunted, right? No, it's not. Yeah, it is! When I was at school, this group of kids in my class went there for spring break and never came back! It's not true. Besides, we'll be in a motorhome. Assuming Drybones is telling the truth. I'm sorry, Carl. I'm just not sure this is such a good idea. And I'm not waking up and driving out to the middle of the woods at 1 o'clock in the morning just to pick you up because you wet the bed again. I had a lot of sodas and I swear I heard the floor creaking. Please, Mom. This might be the only chance I get to hang out with Grace after school. Oh, Grace is going? Ah, oh, crap. Huh, so that's what this is really about. You never mentioned Grace was gonna be there, sweetie. 
I'm a little lost. Can someone explain to me who the hell Grace is? Just a girl in his class he likes, dear. It's not like that. She's just a friend. Yeah, who else is going? Just me, her, Blooper, Boo, Drybones, his girlfriend Talia, and a couple of their friends. Is Grace the annoying one with the blitty that peed in my helmet? She's not annoying! It's alright, Carl. If it means that much to you, you can go on this trip with your friends. Really? You're much older now. I'm sure you know what you're doing. Awesome! Thanks, Mom. You're the best. Just remember, if you get scared and need to come home, call me. Calvin will pick you up. What?! I'm not gonna get scared, Mom. I'll be fine. Right, of course, sweetie. You just let me know how it goes with Grace when you get back. Ugh, do I have to? Try not to cry too hard when she rejects you. I'll keep that in mind, thanks. Calvin will drive you over to Drybones' house before work. Ugh, do I have to? You want me to watch the girls this evening, right? Ugh, be ready to go by 8.30, Carl. Thanks, Calvin. So, what's the plan for the weekend? Funny you should mention that. Drybones is taking us to Soda Lake in his fancy new motorhome. Yeah! You guys wanna come? I don't know. I might have plans with Tucker. And I might be doing literally anything else. What's that supposed to mean? No offense, Talia, but I'm not sure I want to spend the weekend with Drybones and his friends. Yeah, those guys are total weirdos. You guys don't like Drybones? I just don't really get what you see in him, to be honest. Every time I've talked to him, he just seems like a total douche. D hey, that's my boyfriend you're talking about. He's not exactly known for his honesty. In my literature class, he won't shut up about his million dollar mansion. Don't even get me started on the others. Yeah, Blooper has to be the most uptight person I've ever met. I really don't fancy spending the whole weekend with that guy. And the ghost would not stop staring at me in math the other day. Maybe you had something on your face? Nah, I asked him to stop, and he just said he thought I was hot. Oh, I know Drybones isn't the easiest person to get along with, but he can be really sweet. And this motorhome really sounds like the real deal. Don't you think you're just being a little naive? He said his dad knows Elon Musk. Come on, guys, what else are we gonna do this weekend? We could still have fun at the lake! I don't know, Grace. I'm not sure I want to spend the whole weekend with these guys. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pass. Sorry, guys. Drybone said there'll be drinks. So what time do we show up? Sup, ladies. Looking good as always. Ugh, what do you want, Cooper? Relax, sis. We heard Talia's dating the skeleton now. What, did you lose a bet or something? He, he just said he liked me, and he's a pretty sweet guy. Well, when you finally get bored of him, you know where to find me. I'll have you know Drybones really cares about Talia! Aww, how cute! I think I'm gonna cry! <laughs> yeah, anyone got any tissues? Please just stop talking! Do you guys need anything, or are you just looking for any excuse to act like pigs? We were just wondering if you girls got any weekend plans. Yeah, Liam's getting a new bike. We're gonna take it out for a spin. Wanna join us? We'll pass. Thanks. We've got plans. Yeah, Drybones is taking us to Soda Lake in his new motorhome! Huh, <laughs> that's what you're doing? Unfortunately, yes. The hell you wanna spend the weekend with those floor lickers for? At least they're not a bunch of mean jerks like you and your friends! Yeah, you take that back about Gooper, Princess! Come on. There's no way you'd rather hang out with those losers than us. We're good. Thanks, Scooper. Fine. Enjoy your crappy motorhome trip. Just don't come crying to me when you get bored. <sighs> I'm sorry about that, guys. It's cool. Those guys are just jerks. Yeah, we don't want to spend the weekend with those assholes and their motorcycles anyway. Oh yeah, that sounds so much worse than this. You better be behaving yourself back there, Carl. Could you not have dropped me off in Mom's car? I feel like you're taking me to juvie back here. Do you want me to be late for work? No, but I don't want the kids at school to be asking if I dropped the soap or not. Where does this Drybones guy live, anyway? The address is 43 Shitaki Street. Alright, what's the plant doing here? <coughs> he wanted to see the motorhome too. He's a plant, Carl. I doubt he even knows what a motorhome is. 
I know, but he likes to get out of the house sometimes. And I like having pizza and beer at my desk. That doesn't mean I do it. The commissioner would yell at me. Is... is this the place? Yep, this is it. Isn't this the same kid who says he lives in a mansion? Yep, that's the one. Sup, loser. Good to see you too, Drybones. I hope you kids are planning on behaving yourselves this weekend. Of course! Nothing to worry about here, Officer Mitchell! <coughs> How'd you bring that thing for? Don't be a dick, man. He really wanted to come. Fine, but he pees outside! I don't need him stinking up the motorhome in front of the girls! So is this supposed to be the mansion you live in? Nah, that's on a different street. One of the supermodels had too much to drink and threw up in the pool, so it's closed for a couple weeks. How unfortunate. Yeah, we're just staying here until it's all cleaned up. Hey! Oh no. The hell's going on out here, Triboats? You better not be talking to the tax guy again! Oh, hey Carl. Hey Mr. Bones. I was just dropping Carl off. You must be Linda's new husband. Lucky guy, I gotta say. Your wife's quite the catch. Thanks, I guess. Officer Calvin Mitchell, Chief of Toetown Police. The name's Dominic. I'm Drybone's father. Lost my leg in the war with the Undergrunts. You call your son Drybones? Yeah, you seen this guy? He can't even catch a football without crying like a baby. <laughs> yeah, I am kind of a loser. Ah, oh, shut up, Drybones. Yes, Dad. Right. Well, it's good to meet you, Dominic. Linda told me you knew Francis. <laughs> yeah, that guy was awesome. He made the right choice and got out of fatherhood when he had the chance. Wish I could say the same for myself. With all due respect, that's no way to talk in front of your son. What the f***ing piece of sh say?! Chill out, Dad. We got guests. Shut the f*** up and make me some tea, you ungrateful piece of sh Is he okay? This is my grandpa. He's got a bit of a temper. Who are these f***ing people and what are they doing on my f***ing lawn?! This is just one of Drybone's friends. Friends? That skinny little sh** has no f***ing friends! He just f***ed in his room playing video games all f***ing day! Yeah, you guys know he has a Wiggler plush he pretends is his best friend? <laughs> no I don't! Yeah you do, we've seen you! It's the most pathetic thing I've ever seen in my whole life! This has been fun, but I'm gonna be late for work. Whatever, tell Linda I said hi. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Thank god the f***ing pig's gone! F*** the police! <laughs> yeah, not sure what Linda sees in that guy. You make yourself at home over here, Carl. Um, thanks? Just don't get too comfortable. Drybones here might ask you to dress up as a woman and pretend he has females in his life. <laughs> I have a girlfriend, Dad. I told you about her. Yeah, and I'm Mark Wahlberg. So, uh, is the motorhome ready yet? I'm getting to that! God! Will you not be such an impatient little brat for once? Right, sorry. You better be. Here's the key. Do not lose it. Awesome. Thanks, Dad. You're the best. You too, Grandpa. F*** off! Remember, I've had this thing since I was 18. If anything happens to it, you'll be sleeping in a tent. No problem. Oh, and if you happen to get any female company, which you won't, don't pretend it's yours. No one will believe you anyway. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Let's go watch some Dr. Phil. Shut the f*** up, Dominic. So, uh, you wanna wait in my room for the others to arrive? You're not actually gonna dress me as a woman, right? It was a joke, Carl! You can be a real weirdo sometimes. What time are the girls getting here? Talia texted me. She said they'll be here in about five minutes. They're Talia's friends. I kinda had to. Besides, they're gonna be real impressed when they see the motorhome. So what's the plan? We're just gonna drive down to the woods, jump in the lake for a swim, then hang out by the motorhome and enjoy the sunset. Sweet, Sweet. Sounds, sounds like, like fun. fun. Thank my dad, he's the one lending us the motorhome. No offense, Drybones, but your father's kind of a jerk. Hey! That's my dad you're talking about! I'm just saying, you shouldn't let him talk to you that way. You can have an opinion when you have your own private car collection like he does! That'll be the girls. Allow me, folks. Hey, babe. Looks like you made it. Drybones, hey! So this is the gigantic mansion you're always talking about. Nah, the mansion's closed. One of the butlers crashed the helicopter into the roof. 
How inconvenient. I thought, I thought you, you said, said one, one of the, the supermodels threw up in the pool. pool. I thought I told you not to sneak up on me like that. Oh, oh yeah, my bad, man. man. So, you guys ready to see the murder home? Don't you want to introduce me to your father first? Nah, he probably doesn't want to be disturbed. Aw, that's too bad. It's cool. To be honest, we barely talk. I'm usually popping bottles at the mansion while he's making millions at all the top casinos. So, shall we check out this motorhome already? Sure! Right this way, folks! Grace, hey! You made it! Oh, hey, Carl! Excited for the trip? Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Ah! Oh, no. Someone get this thing off me! Marvin, no! Can you keep your plants under control, please? Sorry about that. It's just his way of saying he likes you. Then he has a weird way of showing affection. Alright, everyone! Here it is! Is... is that... it? What do you mean, is that it? It doesn't exactly look like there's room for the LA Lakers in there. You didn't even believe it existed, so joke's on you! Yeah, I feel really stupid right now. I thought you said that this was a luxury motorhome. It is! We traveled around in this thing all the time when I was a kid! It looks pretty old. When's it from? The 70s? The 60s, actually! <laughs> you can talk when you get your own motorhome! I'll have you know this thing costs $900,000! You paid $900,000 for that? If you're all gonna talk a bunch of crap about it, then you might as well leave! Aww, but I want to go to the lake! Yeah, come on, Dry Bones. Don't be like that. I don't have to take you guys to the lake at all, you know. I could just be up at the mansion, hanging out with my real friends. I, I thought, thought the, the mansion, mansion was closed. closed. Not helping, boo! I'm sorry, babe. We didn't mean to upset you. It just looks a little, um, different to what I expected. Maybe it looks a little better on the inside? You know what they say, the best things come in small packages. Is that what you tell yourself when you look in the bathroom mirror? Are you going to be like this for the entire trip? So what do you think? I thought you said you had a plasma screen TV in here. Yeah, that is a plasma screen TV. It looks tiny. Yeah, but the picture is incredible. Yeah, yeah we, we used, used to have, have a TV, TV just, just like, like it. it. At least we could maybe watch something on the way? Well, there was a storm yesterday, so all we can get right now is the Spanish channel. Great, I've always wondered what modern family is like in Spanish. <laughs> What's that smell? Not sure, probably from this party we had last year. I think it's coming from over there. Ew! That bathroom looks like it hasn't been cleaned in years. What are you talking about? It's perfectly clean. Why is there pee on the walls? Where are we even supposed to shower? Uh, we're going to a lake with water? Keep up, Carl, God. I am not peeing in there. Yeah, me neither. Cool, stay behind then. Dry Bones, what the hell is this? I thought you said that this was a luxury motorhome. What are you talking about, babe? This is a luxury motorhome. It's one of the best of its kind. I'd hate to see the rest of its kind then. I don't, I don't see, see the, the problem. problem. I, I think, think it's, it's awesome. awesome. Blah, 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 blah. Fair Fair point. Point. Come on, I know it's not much, but it'll get better once we get to the lake. I promise. <sighs> All right. Shall we get going then? Awesome! Woohoo! Yeah, <laughs> let's go. <sighs> this is gonna be a long weekend. So, Liam, where's this new box you're getting? We're picking it up later. The garage opens at 11. Sweet. You okay, Gooper? You've been pretty quiet. It's Mary Lynn. She won't stop messaging me. The hell is her problem now? Yesterday she yelled at me just for being half an hour late picking her up from her stupid dancing lesson. Yo, did you get stuck in traffic? No, I just didn't want to go. Just break up with her already. She's so annoying. Tell me about it. Her voice like nails on a chalkboard. Hey, that's Cooper's girl you're talking about. Shut up, Flake. Don't talk to Bob that way. Sorry. I still can't believe Roxanne didn't want to hang out today. The hell's wrong with her? Get over it already, it's been months since you guys broke up. The hell's she even thinking going on a trip with those losers? What, is she trying to make me jealous? Well, that strategy sure seems to be working. You don't need her, man. She's always been a spoiled bitch anyway. Why do you think we broke up in the first place? I thought it was because you cheated on her with Mary Lynn. Shut up, Flake. Uh, 
Alright everyone, we have arrived. We're here! Oh. Why am I not surprised? That's the lake? Yep, pretty beautiful, am I right? Are you kidding? It's a dump! Hey, when I was a kid I used to come here with my dad and his rich friends all the time! The water looks so dirty! We're seriously supposed to go swimming in that? Yeah, why not? One time, I swam all the way to the bottom and found a huge treasure chest. Can you go five minutes without making something up? Can you guys go five minutes without complaining about something? I thought you said that this was one of the largest lakes in the kingdom. Yeah, it is. How would you know? You barely even leave the house. I thought this was going to be romantic. It doesn't look anything like the photos you showed me. Yeah, maybe someone photoshopped it. I like it. It reminds me of this paddling pool I had in my garden. You know, especially with all the dirt in the water. You're not helping! We can still go swimming though, right guys? I don't know. I'm not really sure I feel like it. Aww, but I brought my inflatable dolphin especially! I'm sorry, Grace, but that water looks disgusting! Yeah, I don't feel like going to bed smelling of gunk and piss tonight. Thanks. Come on, guys. Sure, the water's a little dirty, but it can't be that bad. It looks like Shrek's bathroom out there. What gave you that impression? Never mind, we don't need to talk about that. Oh, yeah! You wouldn't even go near the ocean! You were too scared! I wasn't scared. Yeah, you were. At one point, you even started to cry. What? Were you afraid of little fishes attacking you? I was not scared. I just didn't feel like going in. It's cool, Carl. I'm not sure I want to go swimming today anyway. Aw, why not? It's... Uh, nothing, Grace. I'm just feeling a little insecure about my body today. Oh, Talia. It's cool. I just... I hate the way I look sometimes. Well, that takes care of that then. Who wants to watch the Spanish channel? Will you think about your girlfriend for once, you jerk? The hell did I do now? <sighs> Don't feel bad, Talia. I'm sure you'll look amazing. I'm a little nervous too, but I'll come swim in the lake if you do. Really? Sure, how hard can it be? It's only water. Just don't worry, no one's gonna be judging you. <laughs> Alright then. Thanks, Carl. Yeah, that's actually pretty thoughtful. No problem. Shall we head to the lake then? Yay! I'll go get changed in the bathroom! Yeah, yeah me, me too. too. Could I talk to you for a second, Carl? The hell's the big idea? What? I thought you wanted me to come in the lake. You think I didn't see what you just pulled back there? Talia's mine, so back off! What? The hell are you talking about? Telling my girl she looks amazing? The hell's that all about? She seemed really upset, and you weren't exactly helping the situation. I've seen the way you've been looking at her all day. Don't try to play dumb with me. I'm not trying to steal your girlfriend, man. She wouldn't even be so upset if you hadn't lied about everything. Please, you've always been jealous of me. You're just mad that after all those desperate attempts at pining for Grace, she still didn't like you back. Where are you even going with this? Taking care of her bloody when she was out of town? Signing up for the race just to impress her? Don't act like no one's noticed. Are you ladies done arguing out here? I'm watching you, Carl. You better keep your hands off my girl! Go away! Mary Lynn's still bothering you, man. She's tried calling me 15 times in the past hour. Maybe you should pick up. What if she wants to apologize? Nah, talking to her makes me want to blow my brains out. Why'd you want to go out with her then? Have you seen her body? Fair point. Hold on. Is that Roxanne over there? Quit being a moron, Flag. I think it is her though! Over there, in the lake! Wait a minute. That is Roxanne! Yeah, and I think that other girl is Grace! And Carl's with them too. Yo, uh, he's pretty cute too, I guess. She's gonna pay for almost beating me at that race. Liam, Bob, I know what we're gonna do today. Oh yeah, now we're talking! Can you not be the biggest loser on Earth for five minutes? Okay, sorry man.
Hey guys! Ah! Oops, sorry. <laughs> well done, Blooper. No fair, he's a fish. He's got an advantage. Whatever, I could still hold my breath twice as long as you. Let it go, man. It's just a game. You've lightened up to this, Carl. Thanks. It's a little cold at first, but once you get used to the water, it's not so bad. <laughs> yeah, you should have seen him trying to swim when we were in middle school. He got scared he was going to get eaten by an eel. You were afraid of him too, Dry Bones. Was not. I actually caught one when I went fishing with my cousin once. So, you guys want to go again? Hey guys, do you want to try something fun? Sure, what's up? We're going to jump into the lake from that cliff all the way up there. Yeah, you guys want to join us? Hell yeah, count me in. You won't have to if you just land in the water. Cool, we're still jumping. What about you, Carl? I don't know, it looks pretty high. What's the matter, scared? No, it just, you know, might be cold. You don't have to if you don't want to, Carl. It's just for fun. It feels amazing when you hit the water. Don't worry about it, Grace. Carl's too much of a pussy to jump the cliff anyway. You know what? Fine. I'll do it. Really? Awesome! <sighs> yeah, it's just jumping in a lake. How hard could it be, right? Ah! See you at the bottom, guys. Whoa! Aren't you a squid? I thought you liked water. You guys okay? Is it just me, or does the lake look a lot smaller up here? Don't worry, Carl. Your mind's just playing tricks on you. Well, I'll be waiting for you at the bottom. Woohoo! It's not that far down, Carl. It's not that far down. It's not too late to back out, chicken. Ugh. Whoa! <laughs> I felt that. Yay! How was that? That was actually kind of awesome. I know, right? I didn't think you were actually gonna do it! Yeah, <laughs> me neither. Alright, me next. This is gonna be good. This one's for you, Talia. Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh god! Yo, Yo awesome, awesome landing, landing dude. Dry bones! Are you okay? Ow! I think I broke my leg! Is your leg alright, Dry Bones? Uh, yeah, I should be able to just walk it off. That rock totally screwed up my landing. Maybe try aiming for the water next time. I got distracted! I thought I saw a wasp trying to sting Talia! And you thought breaking your leg on a rock would scare it away. Thanks for helping me, by the way, assholes! No one understands what the hell you're even saying half the time, Blooper! We were all having fun until Dry Bones had to ruin it for everyone! How do you think I feel? I might need to go to the hospital! I thought you said you could just walk it off. Thanks, Kylie! Real funny! I could have died, you know! It's alright, Dry Bones. If it makes you feel better, your jump was very impressive. <laughs> Thanks, babe. So, what's the plan now? I'm, I'm feeling, feeling kinda hungry. Can we have, we have dinner, dinner yet? yet? Yeah, I'm starving. Oh, you guys were expecting dinner? Dry Bones, you said there'd be food for everyone. Yeah, well, there was. And? But this eagle swooped in and flew away with it. Of course! Are you kidding me, Dry Bones? I tried to get it back, but then a swarm of them started chasing me, and I had to get out of there. So we're stuck in the middle of the woods with nothing to eat. No, there's plenty of food around here. Uh, in the woods? Berries grow on trees, dumbass. We could catch some fish. See, Boo gets it. The fish that live in this lake are tiny compared to the average cheap cheap. We could go hunting. You want us to catch our food like a bunch of barbarians? That's what me and my dad did. One time we caught ourselves an antelope. So our choices are rotten berries or roast antelope for dinner. God, you guys are just never happy, are you? 
We'd have brought our own food if you hadn't told us there'd be food in the motorhome! I didn't ask you guys to come, so excuse me for not having a feast prepared for eight people! You know what? Screw this. I'm calling my dad to come and pick me up. Aww, Roxanne! Can he give me a ride too? I'm out of here. Fine! Go ahead! See if I care! Will you guys please stop arguing? I've had a stressful enough week as it is! Are you alright, babe? No! I'm not alright! This was supposed to be a nice weekend, and so far, it's been awful! It was hard enough getting fired from Goomburger! Wait, what? You got fired from Goomburger? Yeah, DDD fired me the other week. It was just before the race. Boo, boo, boo. Damn, I had no idea. Maybe you would if you paid any attention to what she's saying. You're not helping, Kylie. It's fine. DDD said I was terrible at my job anyway. My dad just really yelled at me for being so irresponsible afterwards. But you weren't irresponsible! What happened? It's not important. I'm so sorry, Talia. It's okay, can we just... Please, just try to enjoy the weekend? I know things may not have worked out very well. Someone lying about everything didn't help. Eat a dick, Ponytail. I mean, let her finish. But could we at least attempt to have some fun? Talia's right, guys. I know it's not been the best so far, but things could be so much worse. Well, look at what we have here. Blah, 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 blah. Sup, losers. Fancy meeting you here. Uh, you guys again? How do you even know we were here? Flake spotted you from across the lake. <laughs> Hi. Yo, great to see you guys again. Wanna join us for fish? No, we don't wanna join you. We don't hang out with scrubs. We wanna see if any of the ladies wanna join us for drinks at my place. Ooh, Ooh sounds, sounds like fun. fun. He wasn't asking you, moron. It's gotta be better than hanging out with these weirdos. We're good, thanks, Cooper. Come on. You don't seriously want to spend the weekend with these freaks. Yeah, we're gonna be playing PUBG and everything. Shut up, Flake. You're making us look like morons. Did you not hear her? We said we didn't want to come, so leave us alone already! <laughs> you're real cute when you're mad, you know that? I mean it, Cooper! Go away! Come on, don't be such a sourpuss. Just come with us to Bob's place. I'll show you a good time. Cooper! Leave her alone! You got something to say to me, Mitchell? I still ain't forgotten about that party. Yeah, or you throwing that drink in my face! Yeah, or you not passing me the pencil sharpener in Matt the other day! I had to walk all the way over to the front! I mean it, Cooper! I said leave her alone! Cool. Guess we'll have to teach you a lesson. Ah! Carl! Ah! Get off him, you psycho! You wanna square up to me, huh? Doesn't feel so good, does it? Ah! <laughs> Didn't think so. Get the bat. No, get the crowbar. I wanna see how he reacts when we hit him in the balls. Dry bones! Do something! My leg still kinda hurts from earlier. The hell's going on out here? Huh? <laughs> ah, it's the feds! I ain't going back in there. Scram! <laughs> what seems to be the problem, officer? We heard screaming out here. Is everyone alright? It's cool, sir. We just came here to hang out for the weekend. Cool, can I join? Not now, rookie. I'm not sure what your deal is, young man, but I think it's about time you were leaving. Come on, man, this is just a big misunderstanding. We were just goofing around. Would you like to leave quietly, or do you want to ride back to the station, Mr. Jordans? Ugh, fine. As you wish, officer. This isn't over, Mitchell. You kids okay? We're good, thanks, officer. Yeah, we're really lucky you came. Things are about to get ugly real fast. What were you guys even doing out here? There was reportedly a murder out here in the forest, so we came to investigate. I thought we were gonna camp out and have a few drinks! Not in front of the kids, rookie! Well, you came at the right time. Cooper's lucky he did. I was about to dish out some serious moves if he didn't leave Grace alone. Take it your legs better, then? Glad you're all okay. You just enjoy the rest of your night. Will do! Thank you, officer! Yeah, thanks, Calvin. No problem, Carl. Your mother was really worried about you. Wait, you know this guy? I'm Carl's stepfather. You kids are lucky to have a friend like him. Yeah, it sounded like things with that Gooper kid were getting pretty out of hand. You're lucky he was here to look out for you. Anyway, we better get going. The bar closes at 10. I mean, this investigation needs solving. 
No problem. Have a good night. Yeah. yeah. By, By the, the way, way, can you get, you get Linda, Linda to respond, respond to my, my message? message? Don't push your luck, ghost. Well, that was a close one. So, what do we do now? Can we hop in the motor home and get something to eat, please? No problem. I know this super expensive restaurant on the road back to Toad Town. My dad's friends with the manager. I think we've had enough of your stories for one day. What do you mean the milkshake machine's broken again? We literally fixed it yesterday! Hey, Skipper! If you want an application, you can pick one up tomorrow. They cost $4 each. Not here to sign up for a job. Remember Talia? Was she the fat one? You're wanting to talk! Hey, I'll have you know I'm fun-sized! I want you to give Talia her job back! Why the hell would I do that? She was terrible at her job! How? She showed up on time, always got her orders right, and was hell of a lot nicer than the rest of your useless employees. Hey! No offense, Mark. Think I care about that? We got a new girl in here now, and she brings in way more customers than she ever did. Come on, man. Talia needs this job. She's a really sweet girl, with a big heart. And her father was really upset with her when she got fired. Are you gonna buy something, or just keep whining about your girlfriend? Ugh. All right then, Happy Feet. I didn't want it to have to come to this. If you don't give Talia her job back, I'm gonna have to have a talk with my father about you. You can get a bacon roll with ketchup for just $4.99 if you use the app. That's right. My father is good friends with the CEO of Goomburger. Your empty threats don't scare me, kid. Oh, really? If you don't give Talia her job back, maybe your boss would like to know about all the toxic animal waste you got around the back. Wait, what? Yeah? We saw some of it when we were back there looking for our friend's bloody. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't? Because I'm sure the CEO would love to know about that. Alright, fine. Your girlfriend can have her stupid job back. Awesome! Thanks, DDD. I knew you'd come around eventually. I'll call her father in the morning. Great. So, uh, about that bacon roll. Get out! Yeah, my arm healed pretty quick. Thanks, Blooper. What about me? I hit my leg on a rock! I'd like to see you have nailed that jump. It's cool. The trip ended up being pretty fun in the end. Yeah, I had a blast. Exactly! I told you guys you would have a good time! Sounds like someone's jealous of the motorhome. It was just nice to spend the weekend doing something fun for a change. Normally, I'd just be sat at home playing video games. It felt good to get out of the house. Yeah, I've never, I've never been, been around, around a girl, a girl that, that long before. before. Hey guys, these yours? Talia, you got your job back! Yep, my dad got a call from DDD this morning. I'm back in! Yeah, I'm really happy for you, Talia. Me too. Does this, Does this mean, mean we can, we get, can a get a discount, discount or...? Thanks for coming on the trip this weekend, by the way, guys. I wasn't sure about it at first, but it turned out to be really fun. No problem. Glad you had a good time. Told you you would. <laughs> Babe, don't be an asshole. I'm kidding. Glad you enjoyed yourself. Sorry if it wasn't exactly what I said it was gonna be like. It's cool. We had a good time. That's what matters. Thanks, babe. No problem. You want to meet up at the park later? Sure, it sounds like fun. Awesome. Later. Yeah, later. She seems to be in a good mood. I would be too if I were dating me. Yeah, I wonder what made him change his mind. Ah, weird.